And usually people, that's what they do. When they come to church, they begin to follow Christ. And they're like, I need to clean up my head. I need to clean up my life. That is not where it starts. If you start there, your victory will be short-lived. Everything starts with the spirit. Your spirit inside. What does it mean to start with the spirit? That means that your spirit must be strong. For your spirit to be strong, it must be developed. Your spirit, like every muscle in your body, does not get developed on its own. Once you develop it, and then it will develop you. Once you grow it, and then it will grow you. How does your spirit get developed? It gets developed when you connect yourself with the higher spirit. Your spirit doesn't get developed when you go, Ucha! You're going to attract other higher spirits that you're not going to be happy with. And then you're going to lose your spirit, your soul, your body and everything. We're talking about connecting. The only a human spirit can be developed under one condition. If it's under influence of a higher spirit. That higher spirit is your choosing. Either a spirit of depression, spirit of fear, demonic spirits or Holy Spirit. But you and I choose my spirit must come under influence of the higher spirit which is the holy spirit and then my spirit gets strong when my spirit gets strong my body and my head and my mind becomes a servant obedient servant when my spirit is weak when my spirit is broken the bible says there is a verse in proverbs that says that uh, a marriage a, a, a hard, a merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. What this means is this, when a human spirit is weak, their body will suffer. When your human spirit is weak, your health will deteriorate. When your human spirit is weak, your mind cannot be controlled. A merry heart does good. Actually, your spirit is a medicine to everything else in your life. And we're like, well, this is true. And if you read health, self-help books, you will find out that to be true. The only problem is that in every self-help book, the challenge is you develop your spirit by focusing on your spirit. Christ tells us we develop our spirit by linking it to a higher spirit, the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit begins to influence your spirit, something happens. Your spirit becomes a medicine to your body, to your mind, and to everything in your life. You can control your thoughts after that because your spirit is developed. How do you develop your spirit? You make time for a connection with the Holy Spirit. That connection cannot be done when you're doing your makeup and that connection cannot be done when you're eating your breakfast. That connection has to be done when you are undistracted. The connection that brings you closest to the Holy Spirit is when you have the least distractions and those least distractions happen usually in the morning before the sunrise. Before everybody wakes up to tell you something about today, send you the emojis, before the snapchat, before people upload their latest Instagram pictures, before Facebook, before anything, you wake up 15, 20, 30 minutes earlier before anybody else. It's still dark. It has a really good feeling when you wake up before the sun goes up. It gives you this, this boost. Makes you feel like a champion. Even if you didn't do anything, just woke up. <laughs> Something happens to your spirit when you wake up a little bit earlier. And before you eat breakfast, before you do anything, you get a cup of water and you go into your room. Why a cup of water is, is important? Because it wakes, wakes your body up. And you take a time and you recognize at that moment inside is a spirit and you speak and connect with the higher spirit the Holy Spirit and you say Holy Spirit I welcome you Holy Spirit I love you Holy Spirit let this day be under your supervision something happens you walk out of that feeling nine feet tall you walk out of that a giant something happens with your mind at that moment, during that day, your mind becomes your best servant. You tell your mind to do this, it does that. Your attitude is strong, you're full of cheerfulness, you're full of joy. Every problem is under your knees. I mean, you walk around strong. What happened? Your spirit got connected with the higher spirit and it became a medicine to your body and to your mind. You cannot overcome lust if you start with the mind. It has to start with coming with your spirit under influence of the Holy Spirit. 